Welcome to Singularity of the Day. Today's question, how do I create some interactive content for my customers? We have a bench grinder here. If someone has a part to order, what part are they going to order? We can make this top level view interactive. Notice how it highlights. I can click it. It takes me to the exploded view. And I have a bill of materials that I can use to order from. So how do I create this link? Notice there's a hotspot, but also that hotspot takes me to the next link. Let me show you how to create that. We can simply select the subassembly we're interested in, in this case the left hand guard. We'll choose create hotspot and give it a name. Now in the properties for this hotspot, we'll give the tooltip a label and a color. Now under event link, this is where we specify what we want to link to. With Composer we have a variety of options. In this case I'm interested in a file, but if I was to publish this onto a website I would go to HTTP. So we'll specify the file of interest. And I can even test this out right away. I'll turn off design mode and click the assembly. Couldn't work better. So that is maintained when we publish this out to an SVG. We'll preview it in this case. and it works great. Again, this is how we can create dynamic links. Hotspots is just one option. You can create links to other actors inside Composer as well. Happy publishing.